Hey G Squad, welcome back to an episode of Is It Worth It? So for today's episode, we got this cool, amazing power right here in my hand, if you can see. Pretty much what this is, is a high quality binoculars that you can use to spy on people, if you guys want to use it for hunting, uh, whatever you guys want to use it for, that's up to you guys at the end of the day. But you guys can take a look right here, it's by the brand called Vision King. So if you guys take a look right here, it even show you like what you guys can use it for. So these are all the things you guys can use it for if you guys don't know what to use it for. And then if you guys take a look right here, these are the two different lenses that they have. So the one that I got to try out is right here, so it's 8x32. But they do have one where it's 10 times zoom by 32, which is even uh, more zoomed in. This one's zoomed in to the point where you guys can see a lot of stuff, but it's not too zoomed in like this one. So if you guys take a look right here, it tells you guys what it features. So it features a 4 prism, a tripod adaptive fitting, a uh, carrying pouch, and a neck strap. Some more features that they mention on here is the field of view, which is a thousand yards. So that's actually really far zoom if you guys think about it. And if you guys take a look right here, it's the exit pupil, and it's at four millimeters. And then right here, it says the lens coating is fully multi coated. And right here, it mentions the prism type, which is a roof prism. And then the focus type right here is the center focus. So it centers your focus directly at one thing in the middle. And then last thing right here, it mentions that the waterproof, just like how I mentioned to you guys. I'll put the links in the description box down below so I can check both of them out and see what you guys want and whether or not you guys actually want one of these or not. So first thing first, I'm actually open up and show you guys what the product looks like and what comes out of the package first. So when we first open the product, you can see that it's nicely wrapped here. And then you guys can see this is the bag that they provide you, which is really nice and high quality. Uh, you guys can see that the logo right here, Vision King right there. And the back part, you can see there's a slot to actually hook onto somewhere if you guys want to. And then once you guys open up, you guys can see that they provide you the strap. So you can actually strap this somewhere else if you guys want to. So like right here. And you guys can carry like a bag, so that's very nice. But let's open up the actual bag and show you guys what is inside. Alright, so when we open up, you guys can see, first thing right here you can see right here is a user manual on how to set up the product and how to use it. And all the different functionality that's on here. They provide you a little strap for the actual binoculars itself. They provide you a little lens cloth that you can use to wipe off the lens on the actual binoculars itself. And then here we have the actual product itself right here. Alright, so here we have the product. You guys can see that they have the logo right there. Uh, they have this part right here, which is the little focus part. So once you guys uh, have it all set up and you guys want to start watching something, you guys can uh, turn this knob right here to kind of focus it so you guys can actually see stuff easier. And then right here, you can see that it has a nice cover for the uh, view. So basically, once you guys remove this part right here, you guys can see that that is where you guys can actually view the lens itself. And then on the other side, it has a cover as well, but all you have to do is kind of like push each one out. And then you can start using it like that. And if you guys ever forget like how far you guys are using the uh, view and whatnot, you guys can see right here it's 8x32 and it's waterproof and it goes up to 100 yards. And also they mentioned about the fully multi-coated option on the lens itself. And if it was what the fully multi-coated option means on the actual uh, lens itself is the fact that you guys can definitely get a higher quality uh, image when you guys look through the lens. But on top of that, you guys also get the anti-fogging material on the lens so it won't fog up when you guys use it in like hot weather or whatnot. So basically right here, you guys can see there's a knob right here and when you guys turn it open, you guys can see that they have a little tripod option right here. So you guys want to set up with a tripod, you guys can. And if you guys take a look on this side, you guys can see that this arrow is on this side and this side. So what that means is let you guys know that you guys can actually turn it like that to open up so you can have a better view. So you guys remember earlier how I mentioned this is the focus wheel. So this is the main focus uh, wheel where you guys can actually uh, adjust like the focus and whatnot when you guys are using the product. And then once you guys fully adjust it on this focus wheel right here, you guys can change it on here to focus it even more. So this one gives you an even better focus after you guys use it on here. And then you just take a look at the side right here and right here they have the slots to actually put in the strap so you can actually strap it around your neck and whatnot. So when you guys use this product in daily, obviously it should work really well. But let's test it out to see how well it performs when and not so bright and whatnot. So like in complete darkness, it's going to be really hard to see anything at all. But now I have a little bit light because of the ring light, but the ring light is not directly shining at where I want to see it. I'm actually looking at a picture on the other side right there, but definitely still has a little bit lighting on here. So I'm going to give it a try to see what the difference is and how well it performs. So like right now, it's still a little bit weak light and actually it works really well. I can see everything really clearly, but let's turn it down a little bit to see what it looks like in a little bit of darkness. So now it's like a little bit darker, so let's see how well it performs now. So it's not as clear when it's like really bright outdoors, but right now it's still a little bit bright and you can still see like the surrounding and whatnot. So it's still good if you guys have like a lighting like this, if you guys want to go hunting in the dark like this, but any darker than this, it may not be good for you. 
all right so you can kind of see what it looks like you can see like the bib and everything so when i focus it correctly i can see this is what it looks like but if i unfocus it you can see that it starts getting blurry or not but once i start focusing again you can see everything really clearly so it actually works really well and whatnot, if I can see based on that test right now. So now that we tested the product itself, now let me actually go do a quick waterproof test to show you guys uh, when or not the product itself is actually waterproof and then come back and talk more about the product itself. All right, so here we have the product right here. We're gonna do a quick waterproof test to see how waterproof it is. So I'm gonna just turn on the water first. You guys can see that the water just simply just slip off really easily. The water here you can just be wiped off really easy. But I do have a puddle of water here, so I'm gonna just dump it in and see what happens. Alright, so you can see it's full submerged and everything. So you can see there's a water gap right here, so the water can get through, but it's not a big issue. If you guys can see the inside is actually waterproof, nothing got in. So the overall product itself is waterproof and well designed, but I wouldn't recommend you guys just dump in the water like this. I just did this test to show you guys that it is waterproof. So what is really cool about this product is the fact that you can actually uh, fold it up to make it even more compact like this. So ideally you guys want to use two hands, but I only have one hand, so that's basically what you guys can do, so that's really cool. And welcome back guys. So now that I saw the test of the product, you guys can see that it is waterproof and actually still works really well. Definitely a really high quality product overall. You guys can feel the material on here, it feels really nice. The overall performance of the lens itself and everything is really high quality, just like how you guys saw in the test. Uh, when I showed you guys the example of the bib and whatnot, you can see it really clearly and whatnot, so that's really cool. But now that we did the unboxing and testing of the product itself, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this product itself, it's really expensive. It costs around like $120. I believe they have a discount right now for $20 off. So you guys can probably get it for like $90 or something. But for that price range, I would have to say that it's actually worth it if you guys want one or need one of these. <laughs> Especially for those of you guys who are into like hunting, uh, if you guys want to stalk people, or if you guys want to go for uh, bird watching. So whatever you guys use it for, that's up to you guys at the end of the day. But then obviously for those guys who don't want one or don't need one or have no use for one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you actually do need. But other than that, that's pretty much it for this little unboxing, testing, and feedback with this product. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more, then make sure to click on that bell notification in the bottom to be notified of new videos that will be coming up in the future. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is it worth it. Peace. And if for today's G Squad fan shout day we have.